we are back again with another explorer class have you ever thought that the dragon ball z would come to maple story well you have to stop waiting and start playing buccaneer a buccaneer can is a private class where it can use Dragon Ball Z skills. Oh my god. It's the best thing ever. Um, I love it. Um, I love to have someone, like look at this. So, let's, um, let's start with the skills and if you're gonna main him. Uh, I'm gonna main him too. Uh, next week, the Dell class comes out, uh, and I would be playing. I would be doing like a little uh, level 10 to 200 guide for that one. Um, for that class, I, I don't know. I haven't. I I know that the Dell is a warrior class that doesn't use a proper sword, but I heard it's pretty good. So. We're not going to talk about it. We're going to talk about Buccaneer, where you can use Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha. You can transform into a Super Saiyan, and you can throw Spirit Freaking Bombs. Spirit Freaking Bombs. Spirit Bombs. You can throw. So let's start with the beginner class. So this, this, you always get it. Um, so if you, ha I think if you have two, um, two of the prior classes, you automatically get, or one of them. Uh, you automatically get uh, this one, your equipment, you set up and etc. Uh, inventory uh, against 24 extra slots so you don't have to go and buy extra ones or you, when you get a free one so you don't have to use it on these guys. Um, you get Empress, so this one is Light Jedi 30, oh that's a, that's a lot, okay. Um, you get a Link skill where you all you get uh, all stats plus HP, MP a little, and like negative seven percent damage, but it has a five second cooldown. Uh, that's it for I think um, for the second class. I'm in beginner class. Let's go to the first job. It's called pirate. Uh, you get two skills because you're gonna go. Uh, you're going buccaneer. Uh, basically, you're maxing everything out, but. Uh, when you're when you um, when you start off skill, you can either start with uh, a gun or a knuckle. When you're using knuckle, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. You're just attacking one enemy like that. But you know something next part when 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 you're attacking it, it has uh, it's like it's like a like it doesn't let you do damage that's what it does so it, it's like a little animation where uh, you're you're immune to uh, mobs uh, double shot this is the one you use to uh, get to gunslinger uh, you can use it until level 30 um, it's faster and it deals more damage uh, faster damage than him uh, so if you want to use somersault kick, you can get it to level 30 pretty fast. Uh, you get octopus push. So basically, this this is all you get. Oops. So it's only like a, a vertical jump, not a horizontal one. Uh, you get a dash. So basically, you just uh, just double click, double double. Double the direction, like if you're going right, you do double uh, double tap on the direction, and you'll activate the skill. So you get a small boost of uh, speed, 50 and 20, and you get to jump on top of it too. Um, and you can do additional damage when you're using this. Uh, you get fire 20% crit. Uh, percent and five percent uh, critical damage at level at level one. That's pretty sick. I mean, first job. Second one, you get movement speed. Uh, let's go to second one. You get 
let's talk about something called energy charge this is where you get it you get a little energy ball right here when you're attacking enemies uh, you can hold up to five five thousand mine is uh, I think ten thousand because I have a fourth job skill mm fourth or third I don't know which one is it yeah third so um, when you fully charge this uh, you don't use any man, uh, mana use energy to attack and when you when your energy is different they're all of their skill all of your skills changes their name and uh, a little bit extra it does a little bit extra power to it so um, so let's go to tornado uppercut. Uh, so this is it just throws down a little tornado and deals damage. So let's get this. So one enemy that the defender multiple is easier to basically I'm I'm gonna mean him for now. If Adele is pretty good, then I'm gonna mean Adele, but I'm gonna mean uh, Buckingham for sure because you know, who doesn't want to be a Dragon Ball Z? So okay, this one, this is little screwdriver. Um, it's your second skill will be uh, Corkscrew Blow, and first one is Tornado Uppercut. Um, corkscrew Blow looks like that, but as soon as you put in energy. Changes to energy protection. Uh, so this one stays the same, but look at this one. Your tornado and it's a little faster. That's um, you get a little blue aura when when you're doing it. Mine is a third job skill, so it's purple. Um, you on top of it you get a knuckle booster uh, same as all other classes you get knock 100% knock that back resistance and you get 20% extra HP that's why mine is at 41,000 at 200 um, this one recovers your HP and MP by 5% uh, every 5 seconds so that's why you 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 don't use a lot of once you have activate this and once you use your energy you you know once you max out energy and let's say your mana is low automatically you thanks to your energy um, you will start recovering whatever is uh, whatever whatever mana you don't have so basically you don't use any mana at now. Uh, Dark Clamati, uh Clarity uh, gives you attack power by 30. Uh, by 30. Uh, let's go to the second job. Third job. Uh, so not second, third job. Uh, you get Spiral Assault. Uh, this is the energy version of it. Uh, if I can remove. So basically what it does is pushes enemy with you. So this is what it looks like. It has a little look at, that. look at that. Look at that. So basically what it does is it does 337% damage, it hits eight enemies, and it does two lines. Plus it has um, a passive where um, this thing right here will do 100% damage. So I think you're just you're just combining both of these, right? Let me just see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, that's what you're doing. You just come back with these. Let me just see this. See? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, uh, next one is Hedgehog Buster. Uh, this is the energy version of it, but so it does like, it does have three orbs, uh, increased range. Uh, but when you don't have like this, this when you don't have energy, 
it has one uh, same amount but one above one ball that's all it does uh, this one gives you 10,000 energy now you can store it to 10,000 of them and it increases your attack speed defense and a little bit of attack speed with it uh, static thumper I don't know why this skill is in there um, because it's kind of stupid I don't like it it has an animation Hold on. Look at this. you have like a booster it's still slow it doesn't it does like um it it doesn't it does like 990 damage since thanks to my energy um and eight enemies hit plus like whatever <laughs> um roll of dice you roll a dice and it gives you buff for 180 seconds but it does have a 180 second cooldown so the buff depends on the roll uh will decide on what what you get uh, I don't know why why it hasn't shown what kind of like um, if I roll one two six one two one two six and I don't know what what are the buffs this one gives you this one's a passive skill um, gives you critical percent and critical damage uh, I mean critical damage and critical uh, rate and uh, it when you're doing bossing, uh, you do additional 20% uh, critical. Uh, critical, it increases your critical rate. So right now it's a 51. It automatically goes to 79. That's pretty good. Um, when you when you stun an enemy, you don't, it, you your um, you will increase your uh, critical rate by 20%. Another 20. So probably like you you're just gonna crit every time. You do less, uh, you take less 20, negative 20 less damage. So basically you're a tanky and you're a damager. So that's it for the third job. But fourth job, this is where everything gets fun. Basically, Look at that, that's a big energy blast, it's called double blast when you have energy. Uh, it does 10 enemies, 4 attacks, and 565% damage. If you look at the names, they change to Static Thumper, right? Okay, so now it's called Buckner Blast. Um, this one's your mobbing skill. Basically, you're just mobbing with this. Um, second skill you get is Dragon Strike. It's kind of kind of sucks because you it has a cooldown of 10 seconds, or else it would have been really nice. Um, it uses energy instead of uh, your mana, so when you are energ uh, energized, that's when you do damage to it. Um, but it has a 10 second cooldown, I don't know why, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's just, it's like a, it, it's not even good skill. And this one is a bossing skill, oh my god. So right now it does... makes a really good noise um, so it does like it uses 32 mana and 150 uh, energy plus it does 320 percent damage eight attacks and when you're uh, energized uh, it does 10 uh, attacks so uh, it's every every uh, energized attacks it uh, it has a different name than octopunch so yeah uh, nautilus strike you just summon a big ship on the map 
and you attack the whole screen. And it has a minute cooldown, just a minute. So 60 second cooldown. Um, it does 440% damage, 15 at enemies, and 7 attacks. Um, And it's it has a um, oh, f f wait what's a final attack skill okay so probably like octopunch and buckner it increases uh, two more lines to it crossbones another of one of your buff it increases your attack by thirty percent active skill thirty percent and it's pretty good so it gives you one hundred and eighty seconds plus I have I have um fifty percent extra so that's why it's at four minutes. Um, it has a passive of mastery and it gives you resistance by 30. Time leap. This one resets all your skills. Active, passive. Uh, so if you use if you use any of these skills, so let's say I used hmm, I used the ship and the dice roll. Let's see, dice roll, I roll the dice once, let me just roll the dice again, so I got, I got 6 and 4, and th uh, 3, but I'm reloading, so I got a, I get 30% extra percent, uh, experience, and my damage increases by 20%, so look at this, right, so that's the 5 and 6 uh, for the dice roll. And but if I use time leap, reset, and I can do that again. So it rolls one, it rolls four, so I get 15% extra critical re rate. But if I roll again, five and six, I'm getting the same thing. Basically like that. So that's what it is for for the time leap so you can just use it this one increases your speed again so you get two uh, boosters so one is the knuckle booster and you get a speed infuser so this one increases your it, like basically both of these stacks together so you're doing more power, like your your attacks are stronger or faster. Uh, Maple Warrior, same thing. Double down. Uh, it lets you roll um, your dice double, and it gives you 30% extra uh, experience and damage increase. That's the first time I see that when you roll. Uh, so when if there is a 50% chance to roll doubles. Uh, so yeah, and it's it's like a three minute cooldown. Ultra Charge. This is the final version. That's where why it's purple. Your energy is purple. Um, so it gives you defense, attack, uh, speed, and effects. Same thing. And it charges your uh, gauge pretty fast. Uh, Pirate's Revenge. You take less damage by. It has a 25% chance to take less damage, but it increases. It's like a little buff um, you'll get uh, certain times for 30 seconds, uh, and it increases your 25% damage. So th there's a 25% chance where you will um, you will get a pirate's revenge, and uh, so basically it increases your this attack and this attack by a lot this but I don't I don't really use it because you got Kamehameha you get 40% chance of ignoring all enemy defense uh, that's the fourth job skill uh, let's go to passive uh, passive you got dices so so when it says when a double double down dice does not activate so this one uh, there is a 40% chance the cooldown will not apply. So there will be no cooldown if you double down. So 40% chance there won't be any cooldown. Uh, let's. This one is. It always adds a number seven to it. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know what number seven is gonna do, but yeah. 
but 4, 5, and 6, it will always roll when you um, raise this one. So you will all, like you will, your chance of getting four, five, and six is it's it's a lot when you put it that. But what I want is this. So bossing skill, so you get 20% damage, boss damage, and you get one more line on top of eight, so you're doing nine. Uh, and when you energize, it's eleven. Basically, eleven lines. That's pretty good. Uh, your mobbing skill, 20% damage. Uh, you get two enemy extra hits, so instead of 10, you get 12, but I don't want to do that. And you get extra line. Uh, I would want to do that when I'm mobbing, but I don't know. Dicing uh, is pretty good compared. Maybe I'm thinking about... I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's pretty confusing with the... I'll, I'll keep changing it until I feel like it's pretty good um, for the passive. Let's go to active. When you're energized, you will be activating this and you'll do a little uh, shockwave kind of thing. Uh, it does like 8 enemies and does 650% damage. Uh, 5 attacks and uh, it increases your critical damage by 90 percent uh, and you can stack until four times so four times in when you're fully charged and it has a 10 second cooldown this one increases your uh, damage by 10 percent that's all of it this one will give you stimulating conversation will give you full energy you will automatically gain full energy when you're doing this so, and it increases your damage. Look at that. I'm automatically energized. And if I do Kamehameha, and let me just show you the energy version of that. It summons a little, um, little guy and attacks mobs for you. And it stacks into five. So you get, you get, you get 35%. You, when you stack them to 5, you get like, a lot of damage. Amazing, you're chopping him. That's 55%. And I'm, just do, I'm doing 40 damage. Critical. Just one line. stacks I have and I'm just um and I'm just four stacks 65 percent it for the passive for the for the four job and a hyper skill when you hit level 205 job you get three new skills uh, and they are uh, meta serpent vortex and lord of deep so basically um, when you hit fifth job you can jump around uh, what do you call it? platform to platform um, with serpent vortex so what it does it it uses 350 MP or it uses a little bit of uh, mana uh, it has six stacks and it deals eight damage uh, it deals to eight enemies 624 percent damage and on top of it it attacks ten times uh, and when you're bossing it does 10 percent extra damage so basically So, what you force is to charge 10 seconds, which is 6, uh, it needs 10 
seconds to recharge but you can hold up to six at a time but it has a cooldown of 50 seconds but you don't really need to do anything you're basically taking a lot of damage So um, that's what it does and you know you can jump platform to platform look at this it charges pretty fast so you 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 can you can pretty much roam around the whole map with no problem um, that's what it does second thing is Lord of the Deep when you are this is like a toggle when you ha when you're energized you can toggle it and it does damage <laughs> So basically you're just moving like this and uh, give me a second. So it's like a twelve off and on. Um it does um it does use a lot of energy, uh, 60 per per second. But you're doing almost all like you're doing like a lot of damage to enemies. So you do 10 enemies, 375% uh, damage, three times, and it has a three second cooldown. But you don't feel it because you're just you're just mobbing with it. Uh, mobbing and bossing, you can just activate it. And Just roam around the whole map, and you can just do it. Uh, let me just show you. Since she wants to quick here, but it uses a lot of uh, these two skills are. Final skill you get is a meltdown, where you become a super saiyan and crazy, crazy. So what you do is it increases your final damage by 20%. Uh, it gives you three energy balls. Uh, they all have 50% critical increase and a monster defense increase. So when you're doing, when you're going, boop, super saiyan. Look at that, super saiyan, and you get uh, KO can too. So it's like a Super Saiyan Kale Cat. Uh, basically, you can use all your skills. It charges energy. So it gives you energy. But when you're using this, that is spirit. Spirit. But when you run out of energy, you get energy. You can spam this. Because of the Super Saiyan reason, uh, you become a Super Saiyan, uh, you throw spirit bombs, and everything is perfect for this guy. Um, so uh, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, leave a like and comment. Thank you. Bye.